everyone, welcome back to What's Sewing On. Today I wanted to show a really quick tutorial how I turned this into this. It's a really easy envelope style pillow. I ended up just covering the whole pillow. I didn't end up removing the original cover just because the stuffing inside is just the stuffing. So I thought I would keep it all together in that and just cover the whole thing. It's super simple to do. You can do it with your sewing machine or you can do it basically just with a serger. The only thing I ended up using my sewing machine for was to stitch down the flaps but you can basically just do that with pressing if you only have a serger, and if you don't have a serger, you can just do it with your sewing machine. I guess you could do it by hand too, it's just a straight stitch, so it's super easy. So I started this last night, and I should have got them all done, but we had a wicked storm and a huge power outage. So I still have three more to make, so I'm going to flip back to last night, show you how I cut everything, tell you about the pattern, and then today we're going to put these ones together. So I wanna open up my side seams and this seam here to get as much fabric as I can. And I had already started going around with the scissors. It's my normal way of just slowly snipping and pulling until it all comes apart. And then I remembered that I ordered, I saw this thing on TikTok where you can use a trimmer. So I bought one on Amazon, the cheapest one I could find, and I wanna see if this actually works. Oh, I just ripped the box. Oh, I just ripped the box again. Well, hopefully this works because I can't return it now. It even came with a battery. Did I use the guard on it? Oh, I don't remember. Let's put the guard on it. How does this work? This way? If it rips it, it won't be the biggest deal in the world. Um, oh, oh, you push. Okay. my face right now the time i have wasted it didn't rip anything what wow so it does work So my fabric is all pre-washed and dried. I have it laid out and the seams are ripped apart. The first step, you're going to measure out your pillow. My height was 19 and my width was 19. For this pattern, I'm going to do a half inch seam allowance. So I'm going to add one inch to both. So it's going to end up being 20 by 20. For the back piece, you're going to add six to the height and one to the width. So that means it's going to be 20 by 25. Once you have all your pattern pieces cut up, take your back section and cut it right in half. Now we're going to take the back sections and create the flaps. So find out which side you cut and make sure that they line up. Then flip it over half an inch, press it down, flip it over another half an inch and press it down again. Do that for the top of one piece and the bottom of one piece, making sure your pattern pieces are still going in the right direction. Now you're going to take your back sections and bring it to the sewing machine. You're going to sew down that flap you just created. I did just over a quarter of an inch and I did a top stitch to make sure it looked really clean. Now you're going to 
going to pin together all your pieces, you're going to put your top piece on the bottom with the pattern facing up. Then you're going to take your back sections and lay them over top of each other. I made sure I liked which flap was going to be on top before I ended up pinning it in place just to make sure I liked that pattern. When you have the placement right, just pin all alongside the outside edges and make sure to pin where your flaps overlap. Now I have all my pieces and you can see the flap is right here. It's overlapped and it all matches. This part is up to you so you can go around all four sides with your sewing machine. You're going to do a half inch seam allowance and then to reinforce your seams just go around it again with a zigzag stitch. Then you're going to flip everything inside out again, give it another really good press and you have your pillow. For myself I'm just going to be using my serger. I have an idea for a project coming up where I'm just using strictly my serger. So I want to test it out first and see what the seams are like. And since this is just seasonal, I thought it would be a perfect project to test it out on. For my serger seams, I'm just going to go in and pre-cut all of the corners. So if I start on this corner here and go around this way, I'm just going to make a half an inch cut. And then if I go around this way, whenever I come to this corner, I'm again going to go this way. So I'm going to do another half an inch cut. This is so whenever I come around the edge, this is already going to be cut and I'll be able to turn my fabric and this will go where the knife is and I won't get any bunched up or unclean kind of curves. love them so much. I think they're so cute and they give a great little Christmas pop on my couch. I'm so happy I finally did it and it was so easy. I would have had it all finished in a couple of hours last night if I had electricity. I guess I could have used my old sewing machine but then I wouldn't have tested out the serger. The seams I think will hold up very nice. I think because I have the four cone serger, it gives a really sturdy seam. So I'm really not worried about it at all. I have the whole month of December and probably some of January to test it out and see how they last. But I think it's going to be fine. I feel like my eye is squinting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and I hope you subscribe. I will see everybody on Wednesday for my next video. I think because I have the phone and oh, that came undone. Do I have to say that whole thing again? How long was this down? It's yours. Yep. My goodness. Work. Wow. Oh, Fuzz. <laughs> oh gosh. Maybe we should try that again. Really simple. Ugh. Wow. This is hard to do. Wait. No. Early. No. Oh, it's hot. Not that way. Continue this. Wow. Wow. Nope. That's not what it is. I'm with. <laughs> oh my god. This is so hard. <laughs>